take this photo just let you know and so yeah, I didn't tell you in my earlier video about this Samsung thing that they're going to show off this little display actually they haven't made it already but they are going to do it on the SID 2011 and that's going to be next week in some kind of cool developer not developer conference but it seems to be some kind of conference because LG is going to be there as well and is showing off new LCD panels in different kinds of sizes so uh, basically uh, LG I've already talked about uh, Samsung and Samsung I couldn't talk that much about them but it, it, it's very simple both these two companies are going to show off some panels with a pretty high PPI and that's pixels per inch so we're going to have some kind of retina light displays we are going to first see something with their insane 2560 times 1600 display on a 10 inch tablet but then LG is going to come with uh, different kinds of panels in sizes like 3.5, 4.5, 7-inch, 9.7-inch the 9.7-inch that could actually be the iPad right now because yeah it's LG that made that little display in the iPad right now but but, and, and that's not, yeah, it's it's cool, it's kind of good resolution, not ultra high, but it's going to be cool to see LG's lineup, and it's going to be interesting to see, hmm, are Apple going to buy Samsung screens, you know, if they make kind of retina displays, or LG, are Apple going to buy them from Samsung, because, I mean, Apple don't like Samsung, but, you know, they're been in the court and you know Samsung may you know increase the price on their LCD screens if they're going to sell them to Apple but interesting question very interesting but we are going to find out more next week on the SID 2011 so stay tuned for that I definitely want to see some quad core tablets and some retina tablets because obviously a retina display on a tablet that is going to take some uh, battery power so we need a quad core and stuff like that so that is awesome see